So we've tasked results from a joint organization involving uh, Technicolor, the main organizers of the task, but also Alto University, the University Polytechnica of Bucharest and the uh, University of Adelaide. So the task is about video memorability, so that is the probability uh, for a video being remembered after a period of time. So participants were expected to design systems that automatically predict memorability scores for videos. So for example, here you have uh, videos selected from our data set. And we measured the memorability for these videos. And uh, we observed that after about two days, 97% of the participants uh, recognized the videos on the left. Uh, against only 18% for the video on the right. So globally, we have an outstanding capacity to remember visual content, but this is true, however, only for certain uh, visual content. So while some videos stick in our minds, others are quickly forgotten. So what, we what is really interesting for us is that, as humans, we share a strong tendency to memorize and to forget the same visual information. So this memorability that is shared across observers, that is uh, w we could call intrinsic to the content. So this is the one part of the memorability your task focuses on. So a large variety of practical uh, applications could be derived uh, from the automatic prediction of video memorability. For example, uh, to designing easy to memorize content for education, um, quantifying uh, memory decline in dementia, so such as in Alzheimer's disease, or to uh <coughs> to extract uh, the most memori memorable part of videos, to summarize them. And one uh, important point is that, uh, in contrast to previous work on image memorability, where memorability was measured a few minutes after memorization, uh, our task focuses also on long-term memorability. So that's why you will see that uh, our data set comes with both short-term and long-term memorability scores. Okay, so we introduced a new protocol to measure, uh, to collect uh, memorability annotations. So the first part of the protocol uh, designed to collect uh, short-term memorability annotations uh, consists of interlaced uh, viewing and recognition tasks. So the participants view the sequence of videos and they had to press the space bar whenever they detected the repetition of a video. Okay, and they had to come back in, uh, online for the second part of the of the experiment uh, after about uh, 24 to 70 hours and uh, they saw a new sequence of videos with videos uh, with new videos and videos from the first part and they had to recognize the videos from the first part so thanks to this protocol we collected uh, annotations for 10,000 uh, soundless videos and we assigned to each video a memorability scores that correspond to the to the correct uh, to the percentage percentage of correct detection uh, for all the participants that saw the video and so uh, then we divided the data set into a dev set and a test set and uh, it was a random split but uh, for the 500 most annotated videos that uh, we placed directly in the test set we provided uh, the ground truth just for the test set and the official results were measured uh, calculated on the test set we provided also number of annotation for each videos and for all videos and uh, descriptive titles and uh, to facilitate uh, the participation of various communities we also provided participants with pre-computed features so video dedicated features the c3d uh, features uh, so for generic uh, video analysis histogram of motion pattern and also frame based features classical ones such as the color histogram hog um, the deep inception v3 features and uh, aesthetics features so here are the official results <laughs> so we had the uh, two subtasks short-term subtasks and long-term subtasks 
So the first thing we can observe is that uh, the short-term results are better than the long-term results. So it does not mean that uh, short-term memorability, long-term memorability is uh, more uh, subjective. Uh, it's still because it's probably due to all, all data sets, because um, we have a, a greater number of annotations for short-term memorability than for long-term memorability. Okay, so here I have three reference points. Uh, human intuition, so if I ask you to rank a set of uh, memorability according to their, uh, uh, so of videos according to their memorability, uh, at the end I will probably observe a very poor correlation with ground truth because we are very bad uh, at predicting memorability for videos and images just based on subjective judgment. For the baseline here, uh, it's uh, the MemNet model, so it's the state-of-the-art uh, reference model for image memorability prediction. So we extracted seven frames uh, of uh, each of our videos and we calculated the memorability scores for each frame using this model. And then uh, we averaged the scores to obtain the scores, memorability scores of the videos. So here is the baseline. And to obtain the human consistency, uh, we divided a group of observers into two independent halves and quantified how well the memorability scores on uh, one half matched with the memorability scores of the second half. So you can note that probably the, high the human consistency is higher than here because uh, using this technique that comes from image memorability uh, work, we divided the number of annotations by two at least. Okay, so we can note that provided features uh, used I, uh, as input for uh, multi-layer perceptron for regression or uh, SVR uh, do not achieve the performance of MemNet. When participants used um, text features, it was uh, much better. So we can infer from that that text features provide additional cues for understanding uh, semantics of videos. And uh, high-level semantic features learned by CNN, uh, trained for image classification, achieve state-of-the-art performance, so as in many uh, computer vision tasks. Okay, here are the results for the 500 most annotated videos uh, we put in the test set. So the results are better. So this confirms the fact that uh, we should have ideally more annotations for short-term and uh, long-term memorability. Okay, here are some uh, performance for alone features, so reported by two teams, uh, including us, so results are really similar. And uh, we can uh, observe that uh, text feature alone perform very well for video memorability prediction, because they convey high-level semantics. And um, important points, the models for image memorability prediction perform well for video memorability prediction. So to conclude, the dataset will soon be publicly released and uh, for future work uh, we are really interested in uh, long-term memorability in particular to be able, if possible, to infer long-term memorability from short-term memorability because it's, it, it is really expensive to, to collect long-term memorability annotations. And, um, and beyond the average memorability we are really interested in personalized uh, scores, the prediction uh, for example, by taking into account individual uh, data. Thank you.